Hey guys, it's Kiki here. Welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year. In case you can't tell by my voice, I completely lost it. I've been really sick, so I haven't been filming, but I really wanted to try and get something up. So today I decided I was going to film some um, eyeshadow looks with a Tati. So today I decided I was going to film some looks for you on the Tati Beauty palette. This is the textured neutrals. I originally wasn't going to do a dedicated video on it, but I have been using this non-stop and I used it all through the holidays and I just, I love it. I love the colors. I love the combinations you can do. You can make it a day look. You can glam it up for night. So I really wanted to dig in and show you some of the looks that I've been wearing lately. All right, so for the first look, I'm going to do um, a natural, like, everyday look and then show you how you can glam it up. So I'm going to start with the Color Story Soothe and use the matte. I'm going to take a big fluffy br blending brush and I'm just going to sweep that um, into my upper transition area and just kind of all across the lid to just start building some color on there. And then next, I'm going to tape a little bit more tapered blending brush but still kind of a fluffy one and I'm gonna go into Ritual's dark brown shade. This is a really nice cool tone dark brown so it works really well to start darkening up the crease. Now if you are someone who does not want a more dramatic look you can leave it here and then just put a little bit of the Aurora matte kind of white creamish color um, over the first third of your lid and then you have a nice matte natural everyday look. I, however, am going to vamp it up a little bit, so I'm going to take this um, Memory Matte Black on kind of a thicker um, pencil brush, and I'm just going to work that into the very outer corner to just give it a little more drama and dimension. And then I'm going to, again, take that color that I used for the dark brown crease and just kind of buff out that outer line. And next, for some shimmer, I'm going to take the Soothe Metallic shade and the aura metallic shade and I'm going to do the darker one on the center of my eye and the brighter one on the inner corner. And I'm just going to use my finger for this because I find it applies better to my eyelid. I always do a little bit of shadow under my eyes so I'm going to take the Ritual um, dark brown shade on a definer brush and I'm just going to sweep that under my lower lash line. Okay so again you could stop here and just add some eyeliner and mascara and then you have a little bit more glam still could be daytime or could be a more natural nighttime look. Um, more natural, this is probably pretty glam for most people, but this is what I would wear as like a going out during the day look. So I am gonna take it up one more notch and I really like the glitters that Tati included in this palette. They are so beautiful, they wear really well, they don't crease up. Um, they do, however, flake a little bit when you're putting it on. So typically when I put on the glitters, I just put a tissue underneath so that I don't get glitter all over the place. So for this look, I'm going to use this really pretty kind of gold glitter from the Soothe part of the palette. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply that. And again, using a tissue to not get glitter all over the place, which it still probably will. And you can see that just adds such a beautiful pop of shimmer. So this is a fabulous night out look or holiday look which I know are now over but it's great for special occasions to just add that extra little oomph of glitter. <laughs> Alright so after some eyeliner and mascara this is look number one. So it is a glamorous neutral look but as I said earlier before you add the glitter you can also take it down a notch by following the other steps first. So for the second look I'm going to try to use a little bit more of the colors so I'm going to try to make kind of a smoky sunset eye with the oranges and the pinks so let's jump in. For my base color I'm going to be using a little bit of story mixed with soothe to give it kind of that light orange and brown blown out smoky look. Oh that is very orange so much for a bit of orange. Little goes a long way good to know. With a still fluffy but slightly more tapered I'm going to go into poet it's this nice pink shade I think if I remember, it looks more raspberry in the pan, but comes out a little bit brighter pink on the eyes. So it comes out almost a bit of a hotter pink than I was originally expecting. And with these colors, a little bit goes a long way. I'm barely tapping into the pan and it has a lot of color payoff, but then they are blending really nicely. Going back in with a little bit more of that orange story color that I lost when I added the pink. So I'm dipping into Ritual on a 
more tapered brush and I'm gonna work that into the crease and outer corner. On the center of my lid, I'm going to go in with the metallic poet, and then on the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the metallic story. To add a little bit more shimmer, I'm gonna go in with the sequin poet. It has some really nice sparkle with some reflective, almost kind of like blue reflective sparkles in it. So I'm gonna just pat that on top of where I did the metallic color in the middle. I don't even know if you could see it on camera, there was a lot of fallout with it um, and it just kind of dulled the metallic and there is a little hint of sparkle but it's still really pretty I just I think I like the metallic a little bit better and then for under the eyes I'm gonna do similar to what I did on top so I'm gonna smoke out with the orange story and then add a little bit of poet and then tight along my lash line I'm gonna use ritual and then for the inner corner and lower third of the lash I'm gonna go in with this neutral shimmer aura and by shimmer I mean metallic so I did my other eye and I decided I wanted a little bit more depth so I'm gonna take memory which is the matte black and just work that into my outer corner all right here is the second look a little bit of a smoky sunset it's a little bit more colorful but still not so crazy that you couldn't wear it out but may not be for everyone so here is look number two this is going to be the third and final look because my eyeballs are burning from scrubbing that off and putting more concealer on so this last one is going to be the most dramatic and I am going to dive into this whole memory what is it color story um so I'm gonna be doing a big black drum so I am going to be doing a black dramatic smoky eye um, and this is not going to be a day look this will be a full glitz and glam night out I'm starting with the matte soothe in my transition area I personally like to do kind of a neutral color um, rather than the gray I like when it has a little bit of warmth to the smoky eye still even though I'm going in with all blacks and cool tones then I'm going in with ritual on the crease again just to start um, building that color from darkest to lightest since I'm gonna do black all over the lid I forgot to zoom you in now I'm taking the matte black shade in the memory palette memory color story and I'm just gonna start buffing that into my crease and this will just help to start diffusing that color towards the edges so that we don't just have a solid black line this will be a lighter shade amongst the black and then I'm going back in with a bigger brush and just kind of buffing that out a bit for the all over my eyelid color I'm going to take this kind of fat I mean it's called an all over eyeshadow brush but it's a fat densely packed brush and I'm gonna dip into the matte black memory and if you do get some fallout underneath I just take a little bit of powder in the cap and pack it onto my brush and then just kind of sweep it under to dust off the dark color that I got underneath and then for the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it up a little bit I'm going to use the aura metallic shade and just go right over top the black and this will just brighten it up from a black to kind of like a gunmetal silver and just help bring some light to the inner corner and then to really glitz and glamour it up I'm gonna take the glitter shade from the memory story and I am going to put that all over my eyelid but I'm going to use a Kleenex again so that this doesn't get all over my face I just love this glitter oh my gosh okay and then for the bottom of my eyelashes I'm just going in with the matte black memory and smudging that out and here we have the final look this is the super dramatic evening look and I tried to use a regular liquid liner with this eye look and it was just not sticking on top of the glitter so I actually used the 24 7 Urban Decay Glide On liner and it worked really well so um, I advise that any kind of gel or glide on eyeliner should work well on top of the glitters I also really wanted to put some big vavoom eyelashes on with this look but my eyelash glue is completely dried shut so I need to get a new one so I can't do the super drama lashes but it still looks good with just mascara Alright guys, well that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed all these looks using the Tati Beauty palette. You can mix and match so many different looks with this with the colors that it has. I love neutrals so I love this palette. Um, 
but you can do some fun pops with the orange and the pink or you can stick to the neutrals and you can always glam it up with the glitters and the metallics so I really like how universal this palette is but um, those were the three main looks but I showed you a couple in between that you could dress it up or down so I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video bye guys she found, yeah, she's thicker than a grand mummy's outtakes.